What's up guys, it's Dallas with Nexus 5 Soft Modern, and today we're going to check out a bunch of cool stuff you can do with the camera app on your Nexus 5. Now there are really too many soft mods to fit into this one video, so for a full breakdown, check out the article I wrote that you can find in the description just below this video. But first up, I'll show you the Steam version of the Google Camera by XDA user Flex360. To get this going, you just download his themed APK, then replace the existing camera APK over in your system slash app folder. It really doesn't theme much, which is actually the sign of a tastefully done theme in my opinion. This one just replaces the camera and video shutter icons with a more aesthetically pleasing set. So now that the app is looking nice, let's jack up the resolution settings so we can get the best quality photos possible. You do that by swiping in from the left here to bring up the mode selector. Almost hidden away here is the advanced settings buttons. Hit that, then check out some of these additional options. Under resolution, you can increase the image quality of your panoramas and lens blur photos. Everything else is at its max resolution by default, so you just have to mess with these two. And if you back out and go to advanced, you can enable an option for manual exposure controls. This becomes accessible through the normal photo menu button here. Now if you've ever thought that the zoom gesture on the camera app was a bit cumbersome, there's an expose module to fix that. From the exposed installer, search and install Google Cam X, and don't forget to activate it and reboot. What this does is allow you to use the volume buttons to zoom in and out, which is definitely quite handy. Last but not least, I'll show you how to make 3D GIFs out of your pictures. Start by taking a lens blur photo, then heading to this website. I have the link to this over in that article, but what you do here is upload your lens blur photo when it's done processing, of course. Give that a few seconds. Then you can scroll down here to see your photo and make changes to the 3D slash parallax effect. Once you've gotten all those tweaked to your liking, hit create GIF, select the size, and then hit come on. It'll take a few seconds to create here. And when it's done, you can either hit share it to upload it to imager.com, or you can simply long press the GIF to download it to your device. Now again, I couldn't really cover everything in depth in this video, so be sure to check out my article over on nexus5.softmodder.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modding.